So CNN tried to calm its liter- liberal audience down a bit last night. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, man. I tell you, they had, what was, I got the uh, 3.12 million total viewers. Yeah, so we mentioned the ratings are going to be through the roof Mm -hmm. because of Trump, and they were. Yeah. Yep, they doubled. Of course. Uh, And Fox, meanwhile, since Tucker left in that time slot, has been cut in half. (laughs) Incredible. Incredible. So, anyway, here's uh, Anderson Cooper and his opening remarks on his show last night. Mm -hmm. Many of you have expressed deep anger and disappointment. Many of you are upset with someone who attempted to destroy our democracy. He was invited to sit on a stage in front of a crowd of Republican Uh. voters to answer questions Mm. and predictably continued to spew lie after lie after lie. Pause it for a sec. They have no problem with Joe Biden looking in our face every day and lying to us. Oh, yeah. Lie after lie after lie. Joe Biden has told he tells more lies in a week than Trump has in his 76 years of life. I can't take it. At least look at the other side. Can you just look? Provable lies. Every time he opens his mouth. Joe Biden. Every time. All right, let's see the rest of this (laughs) agonizing monologue. It was disturbing. It was disturbing (laughs) to see and hear that person refer to a black law enforcement officer as a thug. An adjective he used many times to describe black men. Oh, and call Caitlin Collins, the moderator, Gosh. nasty, which is what he calls any woman who stands up to him. Uh-huh. It's disturbing. Uh-huh. To disturbing. To speak so highly of QAnon conspirators and insurrectionists who assaulted police officers in our mm-hmm. democracy on January 6th. In our democracy. It was awful we don't have a democracy, dumbass. You're smart enough to know and that. And it was Anderson. certainly disturbing to hear that audience, young and old, our fellow citizens, people mm-hmm. who love their kids and go to church, laugh and applaud his lies. And his continued defamation of a woman who, according to a jury of his peers, he sexually abused and defamed. <laughs> as good a job as Galen Collins did trying to fact check him, it is impossible to fact check fully because he lies so shamelessly. Oh, Mike. Now, maybe Gosh. you think CNN shouldn't have given him any platform to speak. And I understand the anger about that. Giving him the audience, the mm-hmm. time, I mm-hmm. get that. You get it. But this is what I also get. Uh-oh. The man you were so disturbed to see and hear from last night? That man is the front runner for the Republican nomination for president. And according to polling, no other Republican is even close. That man you were so upset to hear from last mm-hmm. night, he may be president of the United States in less than two years. Mm. And that audience that mm-hmm. upset you, that's mm-hmm. a sampling of about half the country. Mm, yeah. They are your family members, your neighbors, and they are voting. Mm-hmm. And many said they're voting for him. Now. Maybe you haven't been paying attention to him since he left office. Maybe you've been enjoying Mm -hmm. not hearing from him, thinking it can't happen again. Some investigation is going to stop him. Well, it hasn't so far. So if last night showed anything, it showed it can happen again. It is happening again. He hasn't changed, and he is running hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have every right to be outraged Mm -hmm. today and angry. I can't take it anymore. But do you think staying... It ends ends with... uh, this ad paid for by <laughs> Joe Biden for president. No and Pfizer and Moderna. So I intentionally held this next clip from you guys. So I wanted you to be surprised. But Mazemore, who is a genius on social media, took basically the energy you had leading into that about, about how we're like, hey, why don't they ever call out Joe Biden? Mm. Oh, that's been redone. And I think you're going to enjoy this quite bigly. Watch this. Good evening. Before we begin with tonight's broadcast, I want to say something about what we witnessed at last night's town hall. Many of you have expressed deep anger and disappointment. It was disturbing. That man, (laughs) President of the United States, predictably continued to spew lie after lie after lie. You're okay. You're not going to you're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. It is impossible to fact check fully because he lies so shamelessly. Amen. It's one thing that the vaccine, which we didn't have when we came into office. And it was certainly disturbing. The Hispanic and the African-American community, particularly in uh, uh, rural areas that are distant and or inner city districts, know how to use, know how to get online. Yeah, you have every right to be outraged today mm-hmm. and angry and never watch this network <laughs> again. <laughs> That's like, really good. Good stuff, right? Yes. <laughs> anyway, yep. I thought you'd appreciate it. There's the lies. Some of, I mean, those are the oh, innocuous yeah. lies yeah. that mean nothing, really. Yeah. Uh, if you went through the lies, you, you'd never stop. It, it would never stop. Yeah. It would be an infinite 
amount <laughs> of uh, lying, and uh, you'd have to play the clips forever. Oh, did I send in the meme of Joe mm-hmm. Biden? Uh, Joe, I don't know if it's on here, man. Um, oh, crap. <clears throat> About Joe Biden's uh, career. But yeah, Biden got caught meme. Yeah, look at that. That's exactly what you were just saying, Pat. Can you put up the Biden got caught meme? Uh, do we have time here? Watch this. Yeah, we got a minute. Cheated so there in, it is. She didn't law school, got caught. Okay. Lied about his grades, got caught. Plagiarized his speeches, <laughs> lied about his GPA, lied about his scholarships, sold vice president's office to China, sold vice president's office to Ukraine, committed uh, quid pro quo to save his crack head son <laughs> framed general flynn i mean, I mean it, yes that's just a very partial yep. list too i that's, mean there's but only, those are significant only so much room on a screen right <laughs> my gosh i mean when you really sit down and contemplate it mm-hmm. this guy is as uh, peter schweitzer said the yes. most corrupt yes. politician in american history and he said that years what a uh, decade I mean, ago maybe doing, yeah long time ago.